Now to what police are calling the targeted killing of a retired judge. ABC's Phil Lipoff joins us as authorities say the suspect had plans to go after more people in the judicial system. Phil, good morning. Good morning, Janae. This is scary. This morning, police are confident this was a targeted attack against the judge. They are now looking, of course, to get more information from the man they say pulled the trigger as he remains in custody in the hospital. This morning, former Juneau County Judge John Romer killed in what police believe was a targeted shooting at his home. The suspected shooter injured and in custody at the hospital. RP states his neighbor's son from across the street is banging on the door saying that someone murdered his father. Police say they received a 911 call around 6.30 Friday morning from someone who lived in the home but was calling from across the street. The caller said there was an armed man in the house and two shots had been fired. After trying to negotiate with the suspect for some time, police entered the house where they say they found the homeowner dead and a suspect in the basement with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Wisconsin's attorney general saying the shooting was over, quote, a court case or court cases, and the suspect had other potential targets in the judicial system. And reports from Milwaukee saying Governor Tony Evers was also on the list. We have been able to contact the people who we believe may have been targets uh, and to notify them. Uh, the, the others, um, as far as we are aware, are, are safe at this point. As the suspect recovers, investigators will take a closer look now whether there were warning signs. Typically, security for judges is based on threats. It's all going to be driven by known threats because there isn't enough manpower, obviously, to guard every judge at every level in this country. And we'll see in the coming days how much law enforcement actually knew about this alleged shooter. Daniel's Law is named after the son of Judge Esther Salas. Daniel was shot and killed in their home back in 2020. The law passed by the New Jersey legislature protects federal judges and their families by safeguarding identifiable personal information like home addresses. Salas is now working to get that passed nationwide. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.